Watch me shake and bake. Let's go. I'm in the field like a panther out of up the standards. Like Michael V in Atlanta when it's time to scramble. Nick full of water, call me Black Bridgewater. Lamar Jackson, how I throw them Ravens across the border. Hold up. You know I'm going to touch down with the Run up the whole life and run back on the play. Intercept the pack like a safety, you boys ain't shake. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped a bag on the tag. He ain't nothing. Make them throw a flag when I pass, come through stand. Call me tired, girl, and hit the hole, then I'm ready. Get money. Let's go. You ain't trying to get that second flag on the play. <laughs> hey, in front of the sideline, a flag on the play. <laughs> like Julio with them Falcons, I just made a play. In the red zone, going strong. Watch me shake and bake. Let's go.
take another L. Designer on me this day. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Rams. Greg Zerline set to kick off. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep. Decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Second and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. So that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now Hundley. Open man is Jacob Hollister. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. Throwing, Hundley. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, look at that, a diving catch. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. And it stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First down. Jordan Poyer on the field. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal of the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. the 
the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And goal. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. going to be stopped short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Goodwin with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Get it on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. At their own 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Shotgun, Wilson to Jefferson on the slam. Wilson. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 27-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Complete Jefferson to target. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. It's a gain of 20. First down, Chiefs. On first down, Wilson. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Sanders first carry of the game. They 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. yard line set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line and you know it's certainly a lot of football left to play we're not into December yet but right now where we stand they're in first place in their division looking really good and looking to be a threat come January are you one of those early holiday shoppers partner are you one of those guys get your list done because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round back and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. A very solid gain of 27. And 10 at the 23-yard line. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 23. Times. These plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. On second down now, it's Gordon. And he stopped immediately there. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Melvin Gordon, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14 0. Makes the score Rams 14, Chiefs nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. winds up a gain of four to the 41. To number 88. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. From the 41, Wilson being chased out left. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, 
Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Got an open man finding Jefferson. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Point is good. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. It's like you had green on that play. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Taken down at the 43-yard line. On second down, it's Golden. He'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Dance into his left. It's his running back, Melvin Gordon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Second and six. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. He and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Field goal would make it a 
two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. That's caught at the one. A great open field tackle that's going to stop him shy of the goal line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the... the ball comes out. And this will kick out of bounds inside the five. Talk about disaster averted as they hold on to the football. Now this hasn't been their cleanest first half of football. Last thing they wanted to do was give it up to the opposition, but able to keep it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough first half, no doubt about it. But if they turn it over there, now things turn a little, how would you say it, dire? Mm. And they didn't need that hassle at all. So being able to take care of the football is paramount. Fortunate bounce for them there in order to retain it. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. On third and short yardage. And they will get to him behind the line, but the clock continues to tick down. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. the difference on the scoreboard as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, it'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. At the 14-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Wilson. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. So that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Third and long. It's Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. 
He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They've got second and 12 from the 36. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. It's a pickup of 12, and they'll set up the third down. Tackle made at his 48-yard line. 12 yards on the play. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he is going to have a Rams first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Now Gordon on first down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Brings up second and three. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. They'll run it. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Out of the gun. They give to Freeman. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now Gordon. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. To Gordon, out left. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. The tackle made at the six-yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Flushed out right. Kansas City defense, tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection.
And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. On fourth down, here's the option. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he's going to take this one in for the Rams touchdown. Duke Johnson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. But it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And it's a big turnover there final play of the quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Jacob Hollister, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. That's the reason you for circle round twice with the there trying to improvise and he was calling for the ball downfield but still the interception i think what happened he did call for the ball thinking that he was open but i think the quarterback spotted him too late and that margin that he had on the defenders that got eaten up and they came up with the interception steps away to his left he'll try and run it and a diving grab i think he got that yes Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. At the 15-yard line, a gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Wilson to throw. And he's going to go down. He sat back in the 24. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. All right, quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Brings up fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Flushed out right. 
are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A real chance for them to salt this game away after that turnover on downs, holding a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. Now it's over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. 22-yard line. He forced the ball in the coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Forced out to his left. Throw left side complete. It's Grant. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take the like total at this point. You just go ahead and play. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 26. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. On first down, Gordon. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Brings up second and seven at the 23-yard line. Now a throw here to his running back. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. play fake he'll look to throw flush to his right that's caught by Hollister and just bump. and he'll get into the end zone touchdown Rams Jacob Hollister his second touchdown on the season and the Rams add on to their lead he knocks it through it's 28-7 makes the score Rams 28 Jeez. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. 18 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Out of 
the gun. Here's Wilson. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll run it out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on Ford. From the shotgun, Wilson. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Chiefs now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soaking hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Throwing on third and long. Wilson eluding the pressure right. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. Flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Big time by Jesse Bates. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. First and ten. From the 13, now they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now we'll get whistles, and they signal for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. That's complete right around the eight. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. 